David, welcome to Coney Football Club. How does it feel to sign? Yeah, I'm delighted. Uh, I was nearly signing last year and uh, obviously I've spoke to Owen a few times and that and I'm delighted to be back at the club where I had a brief stunt before. I, I just think with circumstances at Ballymena and circumstances obviously mean the one Owen personally and working with him before, it's, it's been an easier move and as I say, I, I could have done that move last year. Um, but it's been it's been an easy enough move, and Balamina were were keen in the move as well, so it was it was easy easy decision for me. But I just want to come in really just just give a hundred percent, and hopefully I do keep scoring goals. Last year wasn't wasn't as good, um, but no, as you say, it's that that's what I'm here to do, and if I can help the team, it'll be it'll be good. Davy obviously played for us um, a few years ago, probably at the very start of his career, um, and and again I think showed us there all the qualities that he's had or has and and I think more importantly the way he's grown as a player throughout his career you know you've, you've always watched on and he's always somebody that, that I've admired um, he's a very intelligent player um, and I think particularly um, with where we're at at this point in time um, I think particularly that top end of the pitch you know for Matthew it'll be a brilliant foil um, and, and hopefully the start of, of a really good partnership. I think it's it's one of the most important things for, for a player for me like they trust the manager and they know how you know him and Last year I had David Jeffries, so, and I don't think you get anybody better than that, but Oren, Oren's a good man, I've known him a long time and I look forward to it. You know, physically he's still, to be fair to me, he's in really, really good shape, um, but I think the biggest think, credit you'll give him is he plays the game with his head, which you'd probably strive to ask most players to do, um, but he's hyper intelligent, hyper smart, um, and has probably five, ten yards already in his head that probably a lot of other players in the league don't have. And I think that's the big asset that you're hoping um, that we'll see come to the fore. You know, there's a lot of good players dotted around him in that top area of the pitch, um, and ideally that'll bring out the absolute best in him. I think I'll be comfortable enough, as I said. I, I know I know a lot of him personally um, from playing with him, and then obviously playing against him. Um, no, I, I think it'll be smooth enough. Um, hopefully. Have you been chatting to any of them about maybe coming across? Yeah, yeah, I was I was chatting to a couple of them that I, that I actually know personally um, about the move and about everything at the club. Uh, yeah, so they were just giving me inside info really and and telling me tell me the crack. I think it's best for both parties, well, both clubs and for me personally, just to get in and get a full pre-season, get acquainted with the boys, really, even though you know them, playing them is totally different. And you don't want to do half a pre-season with one team, half with another, it's just... That I don't think that was ideal, so it's been it's been good to get over the line, and I look forward to a long preseason. And uh, obviously, you say you know some of the lads. Any any juicy gossip about any of them? You want to sort of start dishing already? You want to start slagging anyone off? Or nah, I'll, I'll keep nah, I'll keep that to myself. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll say nothing about Conor McKendry. <laughs> <laughs> You'd love that. <laughs> Very difficult, and and I think it's like everything where you you know you're trying to do the best for the club. Um, you're trying to get in, as we've mentioned at the very start of this summer, about being patient and being bespoke, I suppose, in what we're after. Um, and Davy's been one that we've been we've been pushing for. You know, it's been quite a number of weeks where this has been has been ongoing. So um, there's been a good level of patience throughout it by all, um, and we're glad to have got to the agreement. So you know, we really look forward to it. The other problem with this was you didn't want it to be that it was finalised maybe around the start of August where he's missed a lot of pre-season and, and hasn't got in around the lads and the fact that we've only begun training on Thursday night and we have him in the door already um, I think is as much a bonus as anything else. How do you work a season? Do you set yourself personal targets and try and keep them? Do you just want to keep playing as many games as you can? What do you, how do you sort of work towards when you begin the um, season? I just take one game at a time. Um, I, I, know do, I know strikers usually set targets. I, I don't do it. Uh, I have a target in my head I would like to hit, but I take it game by game. No, I just can't wait to get going. Um, it was a frustrating, frustrating year last year. It nearly ended really well with Balamina, um, but I'm, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to Corain of a really, really good team, and I'm looking forward to being a part of it. You know, we're we're, we're nearly there. If Graham could, could I suppose prevent I suppose twelve goals this season out of thirty-eight games, and and Davy could have scored at least twelve goals. Um, well then, we're, we're, we're well on our way to, to making that deficit. So um, I don't think it'll just be as simple as that. But hopefully, you know, hopefully it'll, it'll make you know big in grounds into that. More importantly, I just think the calibre of the two players and the level of quality of the two players that we've brought in um, is the thing that pleases me the most. And you know, last summer was a massive one of transition. I don't think we'll have as many signings. Hopefully, one or two more will still come through the door. 
But my big task this year was to try and bring in players that will absolutely shake, say, the 11 players who played the most amount of football for us last year. And, and we want it to be comfortably uncomfortably, comfortably uncomfortable in that changing room where um, the three or four players that we bring in all are used to playing and all want to play and all are really going to stress the players who had those shirts last season. You know, and, and to sort of bring it sort of more laterally towards Thursday night at training, you know, as Dan, we were seeing some of the players, you had some some young lads in, you had some some experienced lads in, we also had Patrick in doing a bit of pre-season with us, which was good to sort of see him. Um, how important is it that at this stage of the season you're keeping your options open with, say, some of the younger players that played last year, that were playing on the 20s last year? Some other players are floating about and also obviously giving Patrick a chance to keep his training up. Yeah, well, we always do that with... Um any of the players who are fortunate enough to move on across the water, uh, we always make that offer each year that if any of them want to come in and do the, how many sessions as they want, you know, to get themselves ready and prime for going back across. I think it brings a nice buzz to the change room. You know, players are glad to see them back in and catch up, um, and it also brings a good standard to training as well. Um, you know, Brad was another one that we spoke to, but Scotland they started a bit earlier and he he already had started. But we always make those offers, you know, to the players who have the alumni as such, um, if you want and. Yes, then we have a few lads, uh, look at Doherty and, and Corey McLaughlin have, have come up from the 20s and they're going to do a good part of pre-season um, to allow them to get a look at it and, and see what it's like and more importantly for us to get a look at them. Um, you know, they both had good seasons last year and, and it's important that we show that pathway too. So, um, and beyond that, then everybody else, to be fair, has a right back in good shape. Um, there's still a few, maybe the odd wee holiday or break or whatever it may be. We're probably on a week earlier than normal um, and it's more just to get legs moving and get everybody up and running. We don't want to go too crazy, too early, um, and it's important just that, that we get everybody safe and, and back to training. You know, there's a, I remember a game specifically during COVID, during COVID where you came here with Warren and, and absolutely destroyed us personally, um, uh, and there was no fans in the crowd that day, but I'm sure you're used to getting a, a different reaction from the Chlorian fans than you'll be getting from them when you step out for the first game of the season. How important is it for you to build that rapport with the fans and, and, and get set up? Yeah, hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully they... Don't take don't take too badly to me for over the years. I know against Larne it was a it was a love hit relationship. Um, but hopefully now I'm here that, that things are changing. If I score a few goals, hopefully that that, that changes. You mean they love to hit you? Is that what yeah, yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, as you say, I'm sure that will change very very quickly. Um, well, I think on you know on behalf of the football club, I think we're delighted to see you here, and we really look forward to seeing you on the pitch. Yeah, delighted to be here. Brilliant. Good night.